Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna do another round of favorites and this time for the month of April. So if you guys are interested to know what beauty products, fashion products, and lifestyle products that I have been loving lately, then keep on watching. All right, so first on the list, we are starting with fashion. And I have been loving this really cute burnt sienna colored bikini from 8th Mermaid. In fact, I'm wearing it today as my bra. I really love it because I can style it in so many different ways. I'm gonna put some photos here of how else I've worn them. Every time I go to the beach, it looks so flattering. The cut is so modern. It's kind of like a retro modern design. Very comfortable to wear. I've been wearing 8th Mermaid bikinis for a really long time now. I've always been happy about the quality of their suits, but this swimsuit in particular, I've been really, really loving. So this one is definitely favorite number one. Second on my list is another fashion favorite, and this time it is a website or a brand. It is actually by my friend Rach, and she has become this incredible girl boss from the last time that I met her maybe five six years ago now she has this fashion empire it's actually called love bonito and I'm sure that you guys if you follow me on Instagram have seen me wearing some of their pieces they are really cute pieces and I feel like they're very wearable a lot of people can look good in them I feel like it's good for people who are more conservative or girly they have a lot of designs that would flatter a lot of body types I feel like their designs always take into consideration practicality before anything else for example if they have a design that is sort of low back or low side then they already have sewn on like a side panel to back panel so you can wear a bra with it the quality is always really good for the price aside from that I like shopping at love bonito because I don't get a lot of people here in the Philippines that have the same outfit as me whereas if I purchase an H&M or Zara I know that no matter where I go I'm gonna have people who could possibly wear the exact same thing as me do you know what I mean I just feel like Love Bonito is perfect for the working girl. If you want to upgrade your style into a more classic, feminine, girly look, then this is the shop that you have been looking for. Number three on my list is another website, and this time it is called Pomelo Fashion. So if Love Bonito was more practical dressing, Pomelo Fashion is another, I want to say, Singapore-based company. It is more fashion-forward because the pieces are more unique. I love it because because I buy a lot of my practical basic items from Love Bonito and then I spruce them up with a lot of more fashion-y, trendy pieces from Pomelo Fashion. And again, I love it because not a lot of people have these pieces and so I don't have combo when I go out. Number four on my list is actually something that is more of an investment than anything else but it's also a fashion favorite and this time I am talking jewelry. I have been really loving jewelry lately. It's an expensive thing to like but at the same time, I feel like it's a good investment because the prices of these jewelry items are just gonna go up and if ever you need to sell them, you can sell them for a profit even. In Manila, my jeweler is JMA Jewelry. You can find them at Edsa Shangri-La Hotel. And I love it because Tita Suzette and Trish and Steph, I saw and they're a family. They're always so accommodating. They're very honest. I can trust them. You know, when you're looking for a jeweler, you need to find someone that you can really trust. They're always teaching me about diamonds and how to spot good ones from bad ones. Aside from that, their designs are always next level. They're always very forward thinking. In fact, the earrings that I'm wearing today are my favorite pieces from JMA Jewelry. Their design is just really brilliant. Like for example, this earring here looks like I have four holes but it's actually just one piece if you are looking for a jeweler and if you want to start investing then I highly recommend that you visit JMA jewelry in Edsa Shangri-La I feel like their prices are very competitive and I also feel like the fact that they are situated inside the hotel makes them very trustworthy and reliable so do check them out if you're looking to invest in jewelry number five on my list are these pair of Adidas Arkin sneakers now I just got them I was actually part of their campaign here in the Philippines. Arkin is designed by women for women. I have been wearing them non-stop lately just because I love this colorway over here. It's nude with a little bit of blue so I feel like it's very girly but sporty at the same time. It's not your common color and it just really goes with everything and adds a little bit of an oof to my sporty looks just because it's not such a common shoe. They're so comfortable and they also provide good support. So Adidas Arkin sneakers are definitely part of my favorites. Next on my list is yet another fashion favorite. 
favorite and this time it is from Uniqlo. I have been obsessed with these jeggings over here. I have them in almost every color. I have them in white, I have them in denim, I have them in a darker denim, I have them in black. They come in so many different colors. They come in pastel, olive green, brown, beige. The reason why I love them is because they are so comfortable and they are so flattering. Even my mom loves them and she has a totally different body type from me. There was a time when the word jegging would scare me and I would definitely shy away from jeggings in general but ever since I discovered these Uniqlo ones, they're just, they have been a life changer. Every time I have to ride a long haul flight, I don't need to wear leggings because these jeggings are just as comfortable. Every time I travel, I always make sure to have a pair of them with me just just so that I can easily dress down an outfit. They're so lightweight, they're so easy to pack. In fact, I even have two of the white ones and two of the black ones just because I'm so scared that I'm gonna lose one or maybe ruin one. I always wanna have one handy just because they are the perfect jeggings. They are life-changing. So I do highly recommend that you try the Uniqlo Dragons out for yourself. Number seven on my list is a beauty favorite. We are moving on to beauty now, and it is the L'Oreal El Sev Scalp Rebalancing Spray. And this one, I am not so sure if you can get this in the Philippines, but I did get this in Singapore a few months ago. And the reason why I have been trying this out is because lately, if you guys haven't noticed, I have been bleaching my hair more, and that has just really caused my scalp to be more sensitive. Sometimes when I look at my scalp, I see red spots in them and they get very painful and itchy. I did talk to my hairstylist about this. He said that it is quite normal for people who bleach their hair to experience things like this. Tea tree oil, which this has, is sort of a nice antibacterial way to combat it. And this one, I feel like every time I feel that my scalp is acting up, I spritz this on and in a matter of hours, the pain, the redness is gone and my scalp is healthy and fresh again. So if you guys are experiencing the same problem as me, then I highly recommend that you try this L'Oreal Alsev Phyto Clear Scalp Rebalancing Spray. Number eight on my list is this Caudalie Beauty Elixir. It's just like your normal face mist, except when you spritz it on, it leaves your face feeling really minty and refreshed. So in the mornings, I like to spritz this on before my moisturizer and this already acts as my toner. Or if throughout the day I'm feeling a little bit sluggish or I'm feeling oily or tired, I spritz this on and it instantly refreshes me and makes me feel a lot better. Moving away from beauty, number nine, we have a lifestyle favorite. And this is actually an app that I think you guys might actually be really interested in. It is called the Huji app. And I really like this app because it takes away that instant gratification that you get when you take photos with your iPhone or your camera. Instead of just clicking and then seeing the photo as it is, it actually gives you a little peephole so that you can see what you're actually taking a photo of. You click it, and then it reveals an image that is already edited and processed, but it looks very vintage film. I don't know if Huji was a camera brand before or if it's a film brand before. It's mimicking vintage film cameras. And I really like the effect, especially when I'm taking photos at night or I'm out with my friends at a club. It just keeps you in the moment. You don't have to think about, oh, does this lighting look good? Am I pretty in this shot? You know, things like that. It just makes you take photos for memories and then forget about it. And when you look back at your photo library, every Everything's already post-processed and it looks really good. Number 10 on my favorites list is a book recommendation and this time it is Amy Schumer's book called The Girl with the Lower Back Tattoo. I actually heard this book on Audible and I really enjoyed it. Amy just talked about a lot of her experiences and memories from her past and incorporated a lot of life lessons that she learned along the way. It was very entertaining. I laughed a lot. I cried a lot. Okay, no, I didn't really cry, but I did laugh a lot. She is a comedian. I learned a lot of things most especially that you can laugh at yourself and that you shouldn't be too sheltered or you shouldn't be too concerned about what other people think about you as long as you try your best you do your best then that's it it's a very no-nonsense book the reason why I like it so much is because it is a very easy read in fact I think it only took me two days to finish the entire book if you guys are bored and looking for a little bit of inspiration then check out Amy's book it feels like you're just talking to a friend and she's just ranting about all of the experiences she's had and she's had a lot of funny experiences. I would highly recommend that you check out her book. So that is it for today. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. If you want me to continue doing favorites videos like this, then please leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!